what the satellite is going to be doing out there is studying space weather effects. Space weather is driven by the sun. Every now and then, the sun will erupt high energy particles. From time to time, they've been known to cause problems in electric devices or power grids or anything that's any electrical system on the planet or even satellites in, in space. So, the system that we're working on. It's referred to as the Command and Data Handling Unit. Basically, what it is is like the main computer, sort of the brain of the entire satellite. And we say, for example, the magnetometer subsystem, which takes measurements of the Earth's magnetic field to turn on or operate at a different speed. And it's responsible for doing this for about six or seven different instruments and subsystems. We are a year into it now, and I think we've made a considerable amount of progress. Right now, we're in the breadboard and testing stage, meaning we're making components, we're testing the system. And then after that, another round will be developing the flight-capable components. There's a giant learning curve at the beginning in that you don't have a defined system. You've never made anything as an undergrad that's so intricate. And, you know, you imagine, hey, I'm making a satellite. But before you jump into it, you don't think about how intricate this is going to be or what don't I know that I need to know. And I feel as a group, we've come a long way. And now we're at the point where we're sort of just getting rewarded for our work because we write, say, a piece of code or we create a piece of hardware. And you look at the signals and you say, hey, this is what we predicted. This is what works. And sometimes people will be like, how do you find a couple of LEDs on a board blinking exciting? But once you go through several hours, maybe some sleepless nights, and you put everything that you have in maybe two or three months of information that you made the effort to learn and you create this working result you know it's a it's a very rewarding experience over the summer i do hope to keep working on it uh probably as a volunteer i would love to see this thing fly